Traders, this is Sandra with Trading Made Simple. We're in a live trade right now, and I just texted it out about an hour ago to Twitter, as well as our Discord group. And I just wanted to go over this trade um, so you might uh, learn how to do zero DTE credit spreads. So if you're interested in learning that, stay tuned. If you're liking this type of content, please like, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate it. So I did want to let you know if you're not already following me on uh, Twitter, I am options underscore Sandy. And so as you could see about an hour ago, I texted out a zero DTE SPX credit spread, sell a vertical SPX expiring today. It was a 4100, 4095 put, which means I expect the market to go up. And we received a $60 credit per contract. And then as you could see, I said, Standard is to keep your stop loss two times credit received. However, if you can create your own risk, just make sure you have a risk plan, right? So really the standard teachings is that if you have a $60 credit, then you're going to get out of this trade if you lose 120. And so the reason is, is because on a trade like this, if it goes against you and you don't have a stop loss, you can lose a lot more, right? Than, than just your $60 because this is a credit spread. So that's one of the things that a lot of people get confused about on credit spreads. And so let me show you what that looks like on, um, let's see, our chart. So at around uh, 9.30 my time, which is around uh, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time is when we got into the trade right here. And basically I'm saying, hey, look, I do not expect uh, SPX to go below 4,100 because those were our strikes, right? 4,100, 40, 95. And so um, if we take a look at it on the analyze graph, you could see that um, basically we have price right here and we're saying, hey, we are uh, going to close anywhere uh, on this side of this line right here. That is what that is saying, the blue graph. And the pink graph, is saying, hey, that's time decay. As time expires, this is going to rise. And so as long as that gold line stays on that side of the graph, then you earn your entire credit. So that is one way, as well as um, actually automating your trade, is how you can protect yourself from risk. Knowing what your risk plan is before you get into any trade is so important. Because you don't want to just get into a trade and say, well, you know, I'll just see as it's going along. Because that's only going to get you in trouble. But if you have this either automated or you know exactly what your trade plan is, then you know, you're going to know exactly what to do if it goes against you. And that is how you trade a credit spread strategy. So if you want to learn more, my contact is in the description below. And we'll see you in the next video and or trade.